tutorial we're going to talk about uh, uh, sampling techniques uh, in using uh, Microsoft Excel specifically uh, random sampling and uh, systematic random sampling okay so we begin with the method one of the random sampling but before that uh, we all know that random sampling is a selection technique used to take a population and randomly select a number of subjects to make a smaller group known as a sample okay so during this random sampling each subject has an equal chance of being selected in the sample okay so let's say that uh, we have this uh, data okay so the customers the their type their met method of payment even their gender so we're going to randomly select okay out of this uh, population size we're going to select say for example let's get a sample of 20 okay so do this, so to do this, uh, we're going to select uh, uh, data tab and then data analysis and then we select the function sampling. Then click OK. Okay. So for the input range, we select all the number of customers. Okay. And then uh, we don't have to check labels because I didn't put any label here. And then select random. Okay, so random of uh, 20 samples. And then for the output range, uh, we select the cell F2. Okay, and then click OK. Okay, so these are the selected uh, samples, 20 samples for this uh, data. Okay, another, uh, another method for random sampling, we have uh, this command. I have inserted the column here. Okay, so you input function, equal sign, and then rand. Choose rand. Then enter. Okay. And then uh, we drag this down to the rest of the cell, to the last cell. Okay, so we have 129 uh, population size. Okay, after that, uh, we're going to copy this so that uh, they will not change. Okay, so we copy. And then we paste as values so that they are unchangeable. Paste values. Okay. So after this, uh, we can select all the columns. And then from the data tab, we can sort them. The sort function. Then we sort them by the column A. By the rank. And then click OK. Since they are sorted already, so you may select all the first 20 because uh, we want to get a sample of 20, then we, we want to highlight them. Okay. So these are your samples for method 2. Okay. So next we have the systematic sampling. Okay. So we have a few steps here. Okay, so we need to find first our uh, population, then our sample. Okay, so let's start with the population size. Our population size is 129. Okay, and then for example, we want to get uh, 20 samples too. Okay, and then uh, after that, we're going to get our K. To get our K, uh, we're going to get the, co the quotient okay so we select our population size divided by sample size okay so uh, that is our class size okay since it has a decimal we want to round it off okay so we insert another function round 
Okay, so we have two parameters here. So for the first first parameter, we're going to select the number that we want to round off. So this is the number. Okay, and then comma. For the second parameter, uh, we're going to put zero because we want it to round off in the, uh, as a whole number. Then enter. Okay, so our k is 6. After that, we're going to get our random start. So, we want uh, to know uh, what number are we going to begin. Okay, so to do this, uh, let's select data tab and then choose data analysis. Okay, and then uh, let's look for the function random number generation. Okay, so random number generation, then click OK. Then we want our distribution to be uniform. Okay, you select uniform. And then for the number of variables and number of random numbers, we put 1. Okay, so for parameters, it's between 1 and k. So our k is 6. Okay, and then our random seed is quadruple 7. And then our output range or our destination cell is uh, k7. Okay, once uh, you have completed this, you may select OK. Okay, so our random start is 1.304328. So we want to round this off. Okay, so insert uh, the same function, round. Then the number that we want to round off is this. Then comma, then write 0 or input 0. Because uh, we want the whole number, then click OK. Okay, so our random start is 1. Okay, so for the element, we're going to uh, input the 1 to the last number set of cell. Okay, so those are 129. Okay, and then for the shift number, Okay, so we want our samples to be uh, or to correspond with number zero so we're going to insert a function so that is uh, equals to the difference of our element and random start minus random start okay then uh, we want this uh, to have uh, Fixed reference, so we're going to input a uh, letter symbol before and after each letter. Then click OK. Then drag it up to the last cell. Okay, and then for the mod, we're going to insert a function mod, then select it. And then for the first parameter, we're going to select our previous uh, value, and then comma, and the value of our k. Then enter. Then we want this one to be a fixed reference, so we're going to input dollar sign as well, dollar symbol. Okay. Then drag it. Okay, so as you can see, our first cell is 0 because our random start or our starting uh, point is 1. Okay, and then for the for every fifth value, we're going to get, uh, for every sixth value, we're going to get uh, 0. Okay, that means the 0 corresponds to our samples. Okay, so let's see. So random start is 0. Okay, and then you count 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's 0 again, and then another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's another 0, and so on. Okay, and uh, if we want to sort this, we can select all the columns up to the last, and then from the data tab, we're going to select sort, then we will sort it by that column our mod is column H. 
hollow in H. Okay, so that uh, we're going to see all zeros or all our samples. Okay, so since uh, these are our samples, let's highlight them. Okay, and then select them all again. And sort them to the original uh, formatting. Okay, so data. Then sort again based on column A. And then click OK. Okay, so our those are our those are our um, samples, twenty samples. Okay, so that is the systematic random sampling. Okay, so I hope you learned something. Thank you very much.